Young people around the country exercise their right to vote in this presidential election. GSU 22 News Watch reporter Tierra Lavender joins us live in our studio with more. Tierra? Devin and Jay, there are so many issues affecting the young generation, from college tuition, reproductive rights, and health care, to name a few. I spoke with first-time voters who cast their ballot at JSU's voting precinct and asked them what made them participate in this year's presidential election. Earlier today, Jackson State University was transformed into a voting precinct, making it easier for people to cast their vote. Destin Benford is a junior from Jackson, Mississippi, and was one of the many students who did not get to vote in the 2008 presidential election. Benford explained why this experience was different. I'm not as excited as, it w as I was back in 2008, but I just feel really good about being a part of this election and finally getting the opportunity to vote for someone I know who can lead my country. JSU Jr. Thaddeus Wright hails from Chicago and says his education in the future was his inspiration for voting. The wrong person get in, we won't have financial aid, so it's vital that we're going to vote. Important. What inspired me to vote is the fact that um, I know that we still need change. You know, it's not just something that um, can happen in four years, like we still need another term for it to to happen, not just, oh, you know, he's black, but, you know, because I believe in him. Some first-time voters opted to skip the lines by taking advantage of using an absentee ballot. Megan Moffitt is a freshman from Dallas, Texas. She voted two weeks ago. Uh, even though I was an absentee voter and I didn't vote the day of, I was still excited to vote. To make her decision, Moffitt says she did some research of her own on the presidential candidates. Line and look at Yahoo and CNN, and then I'll compare Fox to CNN because Fox can sometimes be biased. I elected to vote absentee, but it was still a thrill to be a part of a democracy in action and have my voice heard. Thanks, Tiara. GSU 22 News Watch reporter, Tiara Lavender. Once again, thanks.